share a little bit of uh, your story, how you came to Thailand. Where are you from? Yeah, I come from Switzerland and I born in, in Sumiswat. This is a small town in Emmental, like with farmers and very small city. And when I grow up, I always make sport, like I was a hockey player until 16. Then it was time to go to the army and my dream was to come to the best department of, of Switzerland in the like the elite elite uh, army team and the request to make martial arts so I never make martial arts before yeah I want to join them and what I do so oh, I right, joined the right. boxing club in Borkdorf this was uh, my first station to get in touch with martial arts this was 1999 20 23 years ago yeah so wow. i start with boxing and kickboxing that i can join in the army the, the elite group after the army i continue the the martial arts like kickboxing then i work always in uh, in the cycling shop or i make martial arts and cyclists like downhill driving with with bicycle my journey before I came to Thailand, why I come to Thailand. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you came to Thailand? Yeah, of course. That was my dream since actually after a few years, kickboxing, martial arts, Muay Thai in Switzerland. I always thinking I want to train in Thailand. But because of the Muay Thai? Yeah, of course. And I watch in, before we don't have YouTube, but we have some pictures, we had the internet, but right. Yeah, this was 15 years ago. We not can catch so much stuff like now. Right. And I was always ask my friends. There was in Thailand. Can I go to train there? And they say, Yeah, come with me. And okay. But I know one. I I have no one that train in in Thailand like uh, Muay Thai, like friends or someone in my in in the martial arts club I train and. I had a friend there travel always to Koh Samui and I asked him you think I can join a, a Muay Thai gym there? Okay. He said yeah, come with me, let's see. Then this was like 12 years ago when I came first time to Koh Samui. So you came to the camp? Yeah. Okay. So I come to train here and I love it. It's like I completely changed my thinking of, of martial arts before I want I always train kickboxing but after first time in Thailand my dream was to be like I want to make Muay Thai and I want to make that not professional as a fighter but I want to live this this life. Just enjoy it for yourself. Yeah. So after the first time I came back to to Switzerland after I think three four weeks I don't remember and then I think I want to make I want to stay in or I want to grow in martial arts but I was already 30 so I cannot be a fighter you know professional. a professional fighter of course I train already 10 years but I not feel like I'm a fighter I fight before and it was not like I don't see the the passion in fighting or I like fighting but I cannot deliver what I, I want to to deliver in the ring you know so I know I cannot be a professional fighter and it's not my passion and that's why uh, I start with punch it I show you around quick the this is open since two and a half months now. So this place I built actually to, to grow the community, that we have a place to share the, yeah, that the people can share the stories to each other, the customer can come after the training to have a good food. We have all healthy food, uh, fresh drinks, and it's like for me, uh, yeah, I not found so many places here in some way to get good 
and fresh stuff. That's oh. online booking, they ask always for food, you know, to get the packaging. So this was before the family mark, so we overtake, renovate. And, and, I, and I see all the punches everywhere. Yeah, we have the Muay Thai shop here also, same as you in know. the gym. And we have the boxing gloves, all the clothes, and yeah, we have always new products about the yeah, punch. It is actually the brand we create before the gym. So this will be always on new stuff and... Who designs? Me. You design? Yeah. Wow. Great. Why well, you have all this time? Do you sleep? Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> but with passion you don't have to work, so you can do it. All right. 24 hours, you don't have to work for that. We have the office here. Here we have a kitchen with Madame Gail. Here is the kitchen. <laughs> what is the good part for me is the view terrace for the customer that come to the coffee shop. So they can enjoy our training. Right now we have a break. Normally we train in the morning until 10 o'clock. And then we have private lessons until 3, 4, and at 4 o'clock. So if I don't want to be in the group, I can get the private uh, You can make program. private lessons, like what your needs want uh, or whatever you want to train. In Muay Even time. if I'm not professional? Yeah, for everybody, it's like they can train what they want. And this we do from 10 to 4 o'clock. And at 4 o'clock to 7.30, we have the classes, so if you have a dinner or you want to see something else, you can come to have a, a dinner or lunch and then just here. Watch, watch, the, nice. watch the customers training. So on the right side we have some accommodations. Motorbike, we provide the motorbikes for the customer. Okay. Of course with punches of sticking. Course it's brand. <laughs> of course it's brand. <laughs> And that's the shop. That's uh, basically where everything started. Uh, yeah. From the you said the bunch started from the from the equipment and from the sportswear. Actually, no. That was in Switzerland. We start in Switzerland with the, with the brand, but of course in Thailand we start with this shop here, and it's also our office. So after the booking, you can come to Rose, and Rose take care of all the. The bookings nice, and customer can. needs when they have some questions. So here we have also the Muay Thai shop for all the equipment. Here is more focus of equipment. We have also the pads for trainers. Uh, Basically, have dots, everything for the for the Thai boxing. Anything, yeah. Here we leave the. We have the trainers inside. The trainers, uh, fighters, they live here in the. I don't want to disturb the, tra the Thai fighting trainer. Yeah, now I think <laughs> they sleep. And yeah, the, the gym, we have around one, two, three, four, around 10 boxing bags. Okay. One Muay Thai ring in the middle, so it's covered from the roof. And behind a small fitness area for before the workout, after the workout. So here you can like train a little bit uh, yeah after or before the training it's not a proper gym but for most Muay Thai fighters or most sport guys is enough <laughs> and those are the kids yeah this is the place we make actually in Covid time here this is uh, also here the roof this was extended in okay. Covid time that's I make with my trainer of course we had help but without any machines we make this roof and we paint and we make all the... Okay, you guys all the, are climbing, risking your life here. Anything, we make it with the trainers. And yeah, we work every day in two years, like increase the, the ring. And the ring here also is like, uh, we make it for kids Muay Thai. So the kids train in the evening, six o'clock outside. And we had so many kids that we have to extend. How come palms are perfectly fit? From the jungle. Oh, you, you brought the palms? With 10 people, we bring it. Oh, they perfectly fit. I thought they were growing here. They were no, like, they're not growing. They're they, they were... placed like... Oh, okay. Yeah, and then we increased our... We had a lot of kids. So the kids, uh, we have to make a kids place. So now we have a kids Muay Thai place. This is actually the place we train the kids. Okay. And 
Yeah, we have a few more space for a project, but not yet. No. <laughs> uh, the plans that are coming soon. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should try the class. You are always welcome. We have four classes today. You have a kind of like introduction, somebody who just wants to know what is this? Actually, everybody can come and join the, the Muay Thai and this is what we what we like it here about. We have four classes for beginners and a lot of customers they start here with this Muay Thai. With Muay Thai like or martial arts, they never think to join a gym and that is a bit the problem in, in Europe. Mostly the boxing gym, the kickboxing gym is like in a basement or is closed uh -huh. and you have to enter the door and you go in the gym and you scare but okay. you think this is all fighters they are crazy or okay, whatever okay, okay. and a lot of uh, tourists they're past here stop oh uh, the, can no, i try it no walls no walls easy to escape if i change my mind so. yeah <laughs> can i try it and that's why we have the beginner class and okay. so many customers that try once they're Love it. So now I'm, I'm almost uh, convinced, I convinced myself while walking. Okay, I want to try. You're welcome. After your first visit, you already started to have these thoughts in your head. The first visit, I was infected with Kosamoy, with Muay Thai, with the life here, with the different thinking of life and this, when I came back, I was completely changed. All right. <laughs> Before I was, I work in marketing in Switzerland and I always focus on marketing, of a career, I want to grow in my, and after I came back, I, I think for what? <laughs> yeah, you think like, hmm, <laughs> so that was the life or this is the life, something like that, right? This yeah, is, this and is I like think, before I think we can make our, with my skills in marketing, and I like it, it's like my passion, same as Muay Thai, my passion is marketing. So marketing and graphic and all this stuff, I learn myself about this, it's my passion, same as martial arts. And of course I make some school in marketing, but I not graduate like in a university or something. It's like, I learn anything what I can now, I learned with my, with my passion and that is what I also share with my guests or customers. They always ask how you do that and leave your passion. That is my advice to anyone like, yeah. yeah. So how did you come up with the idea of Punch It? Of Punch It, yeah. When I came back from, from Thailand the first time, I think I want to do something in, in this in this uh, community, in martial arts, in Muay Thai community. So I start to, to sell products, like I import boxing gloves, clothes. I start to produce some, some shorts. And then I think, why I don't make my brand? Okay. So I have the, the knowledge about marketing, about, it's my passion, I, I want to try. All so right. yes. have to find a name. The idea was to make the name of Punch It like, yeah, I have an online shop. I sell my stuff I imported from overseas and I sell in Switzerland. So Punch It is like a good name for a shop about take it. It's a good, right, it's right, like right. Punch It, okay, the, okay, the, okay. Good, the good uh, stuff. And after I think, oh, I make a brand with this name of my website before I actually checked anything is registered or not. and I register the brand around the world and I take the domains and after I start with punch it, that's it. <laughs> okay. So I produce always more and more products with my own brand. And yeah, the second time I came to Thailand, I have already my brand. So I enjoy to, to share a little bit my brand here when I came to train. So before the camp, it was uh, the punch is like a uh, stuff, equipment brand, and everything yes. for, for Muay Thai boxing. Yes. Yeah. Or I came to train here. I come with my friend. This was my close friend. I, he helped me a lot also with the brand to, to make with the packaging and anything like, was a, like a kind of partner and 
I tell him, I think next year I move to Thailand, I will grow with my brand. And he said, yeah, how you want to do that? I said, yeah, why not? Why? Don't try. Right. And okay. was like, in the evening here in Lamai, I say, okay, next year, today in one year I came, I, I come. <laughs> and then... <laughs> when you, when you, that time, did you imagine it going to be something like that? No, never. You didn't? Not even when I moved to Thailand. Okay. And then I go back and tell him, so, let's move. I start now, in one year, I sell anything I had. I had a good car, I have a nice apartment. I was lucky I can stay for one year with my friend in the basement. They have a small apartment. So I move all my warehouse my, to save the money. Correct. I have, actually, I live one year in a warehouse. It was full of boxes, boxing gloves. I have a bed and the rest was like full of boxes with uh, martial arts equipment. You, you, you already started to live your dream, so you basically didn't really care the rest. Yeah, even I work 100%. After I came back, I organized my stay for next year in Thailand. I sell anything I had that I can survive one year. That was my, my goal and my idea. I want to go one year and this year have to be paid. So I have no, no rush or I don't have any problem with money, you know. So, so now you have a full-time camp and this year I see there is a add-on uh, like a cafe and a restaurant. Cafe, healthy and restaurant and like community place for, for the team. Okay, can you tell a little bit about the camp itself? Who, who is it designed for and made for? The camp I overtake from Peideng, this was a... He built this place before, like one year or one and a half year, he run the, run the gym. And I love the training with him, so when I stay here, when I move to Thailand, I train in all the gyms here about... I make Muay Thai camps and I bring my customers to different gyms okay. to show them the island and they get like experience what kind of uh, gyms we have here and this was always my favorite gym about uh, Knockweed and Taydeng was for me like very good trainers and they're like yeah they are amazing and one time I asked him like why we not make a punchy gym or like why we not brand it with punches? Okay. That's what we made now. And then he said, yeah, the problem was his brother, Nokwit, that was also the trainer, and his brother was a good fighter. He died, and after he was not so motivated anymore to run this place alone, and he need trainers, and then he said, no, I'm not so motivated anymore to, to run that place. You can buy it. I think, oh, I moved to Thailand, I have nothing, I don't have money. But then I think how I can do it, I want... Do you get excited? He want to, of course, <laughs> I go back home and I say, oh, I want to sell the chin to my wife. And she say, yeah, take it. I say, yeah, how? I don't have money to, to buy a chin. And then I go back to talk always, like, and to know, oh, he is really like serious about that okay so we find a solution about i can pay i take the gym i pay back like monthly or i have to pay back around two three years every so month you found a way how to do it and finally i get uh yeah it was also a good opportunity for me and they trust me that i pay and i pay <laughs> And now it works, you know, and... But that happened during COVID. No, so no, no, it was before. before. Now I have the gym five years, but after I paid the, the, the gym and I invest a lot, always when I get some money, I renovate and invest about it. It was not the same place before. Was, the roof was the same and uh, some boxing bags and the ring was here. But we changed the color, we changed and we renovate all, we make new mats, we make actually 
we make anything new and, and I have us always all in, you know. And after I paid anything, I was like happy, like, oh, now I can earn money. And then, thank COVID. This was like. Today you have a first uh, training on Muay Thai, yeah, can you tell us something about that? So I'm not a professional Muay Thai uh, fighter, definitely, and uh, I was always driving around to this place and thinking to try it once, so it's really like nice experience. If you want to wake up at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and you, don't know want, and you don't know where to get the energy from, I think you can try Muay Thai, you're gonna energize for the end of the day, this is for sure. A lot of activities, after like uh, one hour I don't feel any power actually, <laughs> but I want to try again. This was like really challenging, yeah. About, I think three, four months before COVID, I feel like now I can get some money, you know. I don't care about the money. I care about the quality and I want to make a nice place here and live my dream. But at least I have to pay my, my stuff and I have to, yeah, when I want to renovate and want to make this place amazing, I have to invest and I need money. And after or before COVID was like, oh, now it's worked. Now is the time. Now is the time. And then? It's good we passed it. It was a big challenge. We survived and now the things are slowly coming back to normal, I think. For us, yes, and that was also my, I go back to Switzerland in COVID time that I can't cover anything here. I hold my stuff to get also with, I pay them like all the salary and I get some donation from my community and I share this to my staff so they have actually 100% salary oh, over great. the COVID time. And that was like, for me, like, a big challenge when I was in Switzerland was not able to come back I have here my life my family my gym and wasn't not possible to come back even when I leave here and this was like I stuck in Switzerland before I want to go to make money there to work but after I stuck and I was eight oh. months there yeah and now I start to understand what you mean I and that time you remember nothing is clear like, yeah I my work permit was sex right and I cannot renew the work permit in Switzerland so you have the business here, I have to come to Thailand and it's so complicated even with entering the country yeah this was like sometimes also very frustrating and but at least this was good for me about I earned some money I come back and the, the, after Covid the business starts again 
and we never sleep in COVID time. So we extend the roof, we make new Muay Thai ring behind, we extend a, a gym. So we always work on the, on, on the property. We never, we every day work with our customer. So we renovate and tell them, you have a job, you come to work four hours a day, we renovate, we paint, we make now some new equipment and yeah actually they like it like was not their dream but they also know what we can do you know right, right, they right. cannot find another job right now there are muay thai fighters they grow up with muay thai and so now your community is back to growing people are from overseas they can find you you have people joining you here yeah the good things i i, I think is about we never sleep here so we always try to make the gym arrive like in social media we make some videos on the beach when we go to train shadow boxing on the beach we make nice pictures here with when we had a customer we say okay come we make some nice pictures and we always work on social media and that was i think the the best the best part what we we did about after covid every a lot of customer or we increased the customer in covid time and after covid was like was fully booked completely and now okay. also we fully booked until december and we had to increase the classes now and it's like yeah it's very lucky actually yeah this is uh, when your marketing skills come into place this is where it gets useful yes yeah, skills and the passion to do it you know i never think oh i get bored i don't get money so i don't do something i say yeah let's go we do Just the go. best we stay here and we have a good place and we try to make the best what we can and when you make the yeah the right decisions of the marketing and this is uh, i think it's come back you know can you tell a little bit about the camp you have a program right so for the for the camp so we have the website there we have a booking booking website and this is uh, very easy for the customer and the most customer they book online like the packaging so we have accommodation training food motorbike bicycle okay. pick up at the airport and they can book in one package anything together and or we organize them so just arrived on the airport in Koh Samui and the rest is done. So they're training here, they're living just here? We have accommodations here next to the gym and 150 meters next, actually here around. And this is what we provide for the customers so it's easy for them. They don't have to book anything different places. And, and they eat in here? They eat here, they have like the food cart, they can come to eat anything from the menu and yeah, it's very easy wow, and they like that's it. Yeah. Nice, that's nice, Yeah, I see the restaurant, not Thai style. It's yeah, we everything. have some Thai food, one Western food, but the important is, is clean food. Anything yes. is like, is from some way, from the garden here, from the gardeners and like not with oil and sugar is healthy food like a mix from Thai and Western food. Where are you from? I'm from Liverpool. Oh. How come you're here? I'm on a transition to lose weight um, and I'm getting a bit... I was struggling to get my backside off the couch. So I did Thai boxing back in Liverpool in my early 20s. And I'm 40 now, and for my 40th birthday present, my wife sent me here to do Muay Thai for two weeks to it get fit. It was not your idea. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm thrown in at the deep end, but it's really working. I'm losing weight in paradise. And how do you find uh, this place? The Costa Mui is amazing. I love Costa Mui. I've been here before. Um, but the climate and the training, as you can see, 
maybe 15 kilos. 15 kilos, not just while I'm here, a little bit before, but definitely lost a good few kilos while I've been here. I've not weighed myself, I'm looking forward to getting home and weighing myself. And you think you're coming back again? Yeah? I'd love to come back again, but I've got two children uh, and with my wife. And I've actually spoke to her and said, it'd be nice to come back together with the children, because we do children classes here as well. And I've seen a few families doing it, so I think, I think I'll return. And if I'm in a lot better shape, maybe try fight. So, we'll see. We were never going to come to the south of Thailand. We were going to come to the beach and everything was amazing. I was like, I've been I've been boxing for seven years. Never done more Thai. I've had like one competition lesson. I found it online. I punched the gyms for two days. I didn't even know there were as many more people as there are. Yeah, we found it online. I heard. We looked at the best gym. No. There's a website which is like traveling Southeast Asia, which tells you, because we're traveling for four or five months, traveling all the Southeast Asia, it just tells you the best things to do. And one of the things was, was a bunch of gym. Look at the food. <laughs> oh my god. Where are you from again? We're from London. London is. It's cool though. What do you think about it? It's crazy. It's really, it's a good, um, good combination of it being like westernized. But still being a bit authentic, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. you like the, 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 the trainer? Trainers are good. Oh, it's good. It's good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never done more time. I've done boxing. It's just like, oh my god. And the run in the morning, it's just like... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you, yeah. we make the event for beginners so a lot of customers they come to us can I fight and we say if you fight before we can check okay. if they never fight and mostly is somebody they never fight they want to try so I designed to make like one once a month the soy fight this we make in YouTube so Four fighters can try to against the Thai fighter, I and see. it's fun and it's like a good experience for everybody. And it's not challenging the the, the stadiums about we cannot bring this customer to the stadium, but we can infect someone with fighting in in this uh, in this event. And this is like they love it. Like two days ago, we had the the fights and. All of them came back like, oh, thank you for this amazing experience. And it's like, they're really enjoyed, you know, and it's three rounds, full Muay Thai rules. We have a referee here, like professional. And yeah, it's like, it's a good event. And this is, uh, what we- nice. That's a good idea. What, what we give to the, for my customer is also kind of, yeah, it's also a bit of marketing and I think it's, it's nice for the community about the train before they go back, they can see them fight after two weeks when they're back already, maybe they can join him. I think it's nice to, yeah, to share a little bit the, the life here. So punch it, do you have the plans for the future? You do yeah, have any Yeah, right now or? the plan was the, the, the community place, the healthy coffee. And yeah, of course, I have many ideas always. Okay. I never sleep or I never... You never stop? Never stop to have new ideas. And right now it's like, we may, we'll make some with the new fighters to grow a bit the professional okay. fighting team. And with the brand, I will make also the, to grow the brand a bit. But right now I need to make the... the the gym run, run like the quality. I need to make the quality in the gym.
table about we have a lot of customers now and this is also the the problem not a problem but it's a good problem when you have too many customers that you have the same standard and right. for me it's the most important thing all the customers that left this gym have they have to be happy and they get what they're looking for yeah, yeah. that they get what they aspect and that's what was like the last three four weeks i was busy to to keep the standard I see. and that's why we increase now the classes to four class a day i i really thank you for your time and i really admire what you're doing you inspire people that's really great i wish you the best things with punch it so we're gonna see you again yeah i hope we're so see and you again. you're doing like thank you very, so much to, to come to see yeah, my I place and my passion to muay thai and a bit my background and I hope we can infect a lot of people to yeah. come to some way That's the to point. join Muay Thai and of course yeah they're really infected. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much. Thank and you. see you again. If you have questions about opening a company in Thailand, leave them below in the comments so I can get the answers in my next videos. Join me in Facebook and Telegram group. Follow my channel to see more videos like that. Thank you for watching. Thank you.